Hey guys, this is Canada Goose Reviews, and this is an unboxing of a fake Canada Goose coat. So first off, if you ever get a Canada Goose coat and it comes in a bag like this, you know it's a fake. Because Canada Goose will never send you a parka in a bag like this. Nordstrom's, Moose Jaw, any reputable retailer of Canada Goose will never ever ship their coats in a bag like this. So you know just off the bat, if you get it in a bag, it's a fake. I mean, you can look at this bag. This is like this, this lavender color around here in the patch. I mean, it's blue, so I don't know why that would be lavender. These maple leaves are look, look kind of like they're giving you a finger, and in general, it's just pretty cheap quality bag. So let's get into opening this thing. All right, well, this tab just broke off, so that's a good sign. And yeah, so I just kind of tore this bag, opening it. All right, let's look at this parka. So, Alright, so first off, look at this patch. Now the patch isn't as bad as some I've seen on fake coats, but these lakes are all messed up and these leaves look a little off and there's stitching errors. You can see the stitching kind of runs along the A and the G and that's off. You've got the lakes which look kind of messed up, so they're disproportionately too large. The leaves look a little too boxy. Alright, inside, first of all, you have this the pulling pocket that's not even not even the same as an expedition. This is technically supposed to be an expedition parka. This they have a zipper. The zipper goes this way. It doesn't go like that. So that's off. Um, look at this back tag. There's the back tag. Check that out. So that looks pretty pretty poorly constructed. The stitches, stitching errors up here. Jeez, yeah. And then look over here. That so these are the pouch where the tags are supposed to be. You'll see these in like new coats. So first of all, this tag isn't even flush with this tag if you can see that. See it kind of overlaps there. And then for the hologram, see if I can zoom in here. So not a lot of fakes have holograms so that kind of surprises when it has a hologram. But if you look right here you see there's supposed to be maple leaves. And that little leaf there, it honestly kind of looks like a pot leaf. You can see the bear and it's easier to tell when you have it in person, but the bears barely make you barely make able to make out the bear's face. On real tags, it'll show a lot of detail on the bear. And then this tag has the numbers that do go from one to nine, like real tags or holograms are supposed to. But this quality assurance down tag is a too light of a blue. I don't, it's, it's like a sky blue. And then it's a pretty shoddy job of that. And then the fill. So if it so the fill over here, if, if you feel it with your hands, you can t tell it's not goose down because it, it just feels like they push up some foam squares in there because I can just, I just changed the shape of one of these squares because I can just ball it up. So there's actually some solid insulation in here, not down fill. It's not pillowy at all. It's like they just stuff some styrofoam or some kind of like plastic or cloth in there some synthetic cloth stuffing for their insulation, so that's pretty sweet. And then the zipper, the zipper just feels really cheap. It's like made of plastic. The other ones, they have some heavy duty material, but this, these just feel cheap. Or the zipper, whatever these are called, the teeth. And then these actual zippers feel really cheap. They don't even lock onto each other. And the real ones will say this Vislon on them, I believe, on the back of them. These just have a D and an 8. And they feel really hollow. Like, when I was a kid, I'd go to the zoo and they'd make these, throw these machines and put in, like, a dollar. And they'd melt this plastic animal for me. And they're hollow and make it really thin. Well, that's kind of what these zippers feel like. Um, yeah, for the fur. So the fur on fake ones. This one's not the worst job for the fur that I've seen, but... It feels really off, and these the disgusting thing is these fakes are made with like dog and cat fur, so that's pretty that's pretty gross. And then these are an expedition, and you're not supposed to be able to remove the fur on expedition coats, but this one has the fur that's removable. And on the back of the jacket, where it says expedition, there's this part that's peeling off on the edges. It's not even sewn down all the way. That's real quality. Yeah, let's see the cuffs. 
cuffs look about the same. You got this weird, this weird loose stitching here that I can just pull out with my hand. So, yeah, and this side. Oh well, look at this. So this is stitching has completely become undone from here, undone here. Yeah, it's real quality. Well, anyways, this has been an unboxing of a fake hand goose coat. I have a lot of videos where I go through ways to tell if your Canada Goose coat is real or not. So be sure to check those out because it could be a helpful resource for you. I made like five different videos. Hopefully they're um, informative so that if you have a fake coat or your real coat, you just want to make sure you can use those videos as a resource. Um, and you can, send me your, you can send me questions about your coat or send me photos or questions about the coats you have to make sure they're real. I, I can look at those when I have time. I know I'm getting flooded with a lot of people asking me if their coats are real or not, which I really appreciate that you guys are reaching out and um, watching my videos, and that means a lot, so thanks for that. But I'm getting so many of them that I'm, um, it takes me a while to go through it. So I've added this new tip feature, so you can tip me on PayPal if you want, and that'll help speed up my response time on those videos, just because, or those questions, because like I said, I'm getting a lot of them. So this has been an unboxing of the fake Canada Goose coat. Hope you found this video useful. I'll also do a video where I show the details of this coat with an authentic coat next next to each other. And that one should also help you um, show some discrepancies between fake coats and real coats in specific areas uh, and things to look for. So stay tuned for that video and thanks for watching.